understand it. I'm a fucking bitch. Hey, you can fuck with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these is red bottoms, these is bloody shoes. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a segment on beliefs that no longer serve us. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell down below in order for you to be notified every time I post. Today I was doing pregnancy diagnosis in which I'll show you a sneak peek of what I did today. <laughs> Welcome back. So today we are doing beliefs that no longer serve us. After marriage, you're supposed to start bearing children like immediately. Like you cannot like you get like there's a lot of pressures from in-laws, there's a lot of pressure from like outside pressure and even intrinsic pressure where like you guys are forced to like think of kids and like that is what is supposed to come after like for a career woman you're not supposed to think of how to thrive before you start bearing kids like like you don't have options like this is what is expected of you i think that's a belief that should not like no longer be there you cannot say no or you cannot like a person who is older than you cannot like cannot be wrong you cannot tell them like you're wrong this was this is not the way that it's supposed to be made like this is not the way that it's supposed to be like that's not the perspective that you're supposed to carry forward like this is morally <laughs> this is morally <laughs> This is morally wrong like people do not like when you say that an older person is wrong or an older person shouldn't have done this like it comes off as disrespectful it is, it is not supposed to be like that but it depends on the delivery <laughs> um i think why why should it be wrong yeah I, an older person can be wrong like human is to error for a lady i'm speaking of a um, woman perspective for a lady um the older you grow the more like society dictates what you're supposed to wear shoes you're supposed to wear makeup you're supposed to wear um how you're supposed to behave like this day we went shopping with my mom and I and I usually hate it. Like it isn't even in one instance. Like we went shopping with my mom and she was shopping for trench coats. And then she saw this nice trench coat. I, I saw I saw this nice trench nice trench coat for her and I was like, Yeah, like <laughs> mom we can take this one and then the, the the seller was like, No, this is not for a woman of her age. I was so triggered. <laughs> I was like, bro, what the fuck are you saying? What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, she can't wear this? Like, <laughs> like it, didn't make, it didn't make sense to me. There's this day that we were, we were shopping for shoes. She was going to Mombasa. And then this guy was like, these shoes, no, it was even a woman that she, these shoes are not for women of her age. I was like, what does that mean? 
make them make sense like i didn't get like how people put people in a small box <laughs> sorry put people in a small box for like they can't they can't move just because they are of us of an older age <sighs> thick women like thick women clothes are inspected like for me um i'm thick <laughs> And I know that for a fact. So if I wear something short, and if another woman who is slimmer than me wears something short, mine will be deemed inappropriate, and hers will not, would sometimes not be noticed. Like I don't get. I'll, <laughs> for me, I'll wear what I want to wear when I want to wear. Yeah. <laughs> my dress, my choice. Like, if you're a woman or you're a lady and you have male siblings, you're supposed to serve them. You're supposed to cook for them, to to make sure the house is okay. It's like, just because you're born with something between your legs. <laughs> I don't want to be inappropriate, but I'm like, just because you're born with something in between your legs, that won't make you superior over me bro you'll do house chores like i do house chores we'll divide that house chores equally those house chores equally for everyone to do house chores yeah when a woman cheats and when a man cheats like there's double standard for a woman if a woman cheats all hell will break loose. Like, people, even, like, everyone will start judging her. But when a, when a man cheats, like, it's like, you know, men are usually this way. I hear that sentence. <laughs> but, yeah, this is how men are usually. But, hey, if it was the woman who, like, cheated, oh, like, the whole village will turn up to stone her and to judge her and it will like it will be and like it is it will be inconceivable like how can she change she'll even be chased from her house like that belief should not be there like the same way a woman will be treated when she cheats is the same way a man should be treated when he cheats women are not supposed to speak like when family matters are, are discussed for example um when inheritance is supposed to be to be divided for example like in my family what i see in my extended family when we go for a get together first of all <laughs> when we go for a get together before anything else if a woman like uh, like arrives in the home they are supposed to go to the kitchen and make sure like everything is okay like people like food is cooked and then the men like sit down and they have just arrived like it's it's it is usually double standard yes they'll be served food for like welcoming the guests but they're not supposed to sit down you guess they are supposed to like get busy, start doing things. Even if like you're so tired, you're you're not feeling like it. And then another thing, if like the men are discussing family issues, the women are not are not there to articulate like, what about me? Where is my inheritance? And I feel like that's so double standard. Like when there's a meeting and like it involves like the family. <laughs> Family, family, <laughs> family, 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 like family stuff. Like women are not hard. In which it has changed. Like it is, for me, according to the application in my life, it is those people. <laughs> I don't want to sound disrespectful, but those people who are from an an older generation that take it take this on like women are not supposed to sit down at the table and give 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 their give their responses give their opinions about certain things like you'll find women cooking women cleaning the house 
like it's usually a double standard so there's this time i went home and my uncle told me <laughs> why are you wasting your time pursuing education pursuing uni and like you can marry rich like the the other career options like my brother for example is in the army and my other brother is like in qatar like he ha- he has a job there like you see and these are people who like found their calling in life in what they are doing and i decided to pursue further education in uni in order for me to pursue what i wanted to do but you see he cannot fathom that my uncle cannot fathom how i as a woman who can marry rich cannot decide <laughs> like decide this like decides to get to go into the the longer path if i may call it because they like, have spent like six years in uni in which like for him it's a waste of time like those are beliefs that no longer serve us because everyone has their own path everyone has their own journey man is head of the family frankly <laughs> frankly i don't like mm, i don't like I, i just don't like that belief because like we can all be heads of the family like this time this pastor was this priest was giving a sermon and he was like he was like telling people to come to church and then he was like you men who are heads of the family can you advise like the other members of the family to come to church and then he was like you women who are heads of the family and are single parents is like he, he cannot he, he 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 couldn't imagine a woman and a man being heads of the family like them working together like that's how it came off like i was really triggered during that someone <laughs> i was really triggered being in an abusive relationship is loyalty to the man or to the woman like you're 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 loyal like it doesn't make sense bro if it's an abusive relationship move move out of the relationship it doesn't it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense move out of the relationship being in an abusive relationship just because you want don't want to be lonely it's a belief that no longer serves us and these people who say that divorce is not an option like like for example like i had in our lawyer custom like divorce uh, it's here see <laughs> I have not yet confirmed this but like when you divorce someone and you go to another family and you you bear children like the children won't prosper I don't know if it is health wise or what but mind you I have not confirmed this this thing but you see like a woman is forced to stay into a marriage that she's no longer happy in and it's no longer making her happy like it's no longer serving the purpose that it's supposed to serve in the long run and even like religion does not help does not help because like some some religion you know I don't want to nitty to pick <laughs> to pick on certain religion but some religion like advise the woman to pray to pray when the when the marriage is no longer making her happy or making him happy and divorce is not an option so like sometimes i see na shoot sorry for that like it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't serve the purpose of you i don't know i i lost my line of thoughts but why be in a an in an abusive relationship if you are no longer happy and most of the time like children are happier with parents who are separated than them being aggressive than them them fighting and them 
and then you, you get like they are more hard if there's a word like that when people are when they are in an abusive relationship like what they see and what does it what does it trickle down to the children because maybe they'll view this as normal this is what i should do this is what i should hit my wife i should raise my voice at my wife you get like it doesn't make sense thank you guys for lending me an ear and it's always a pleasure like comment subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell down below i'll see you friday i'm really excited for next week but i'm really excited about next week's episode on valentine's yeah make sure you stay tuned peace